Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate ClickUp with Salesforce. First of all, we want to create our account at uh, ClickUp.com. Uh, once we do that, we want to go and uh, we want to move to the bottom left corner when our workplace is. And uh, uh, you can just click down there and go into integrations. Uh, when we are in the integrations, we are looking for Salesforce. But uh, unfortunately, uh, there is no option for Salesforce uh, straight in ClickUp.com. You can uh, just request an integration, but it's not like uh, uh, it won't happen by the night. It will actually take time. So we want to go to Zapier.com. Uh, this is the main dashboard. As you can see, uh, we already or we also want to create an account in here. So uh, once we created an account, it's very easy, very fast, and there are no extra apps uh, or ads, sorry. And we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. Once we click there, uh, in top left corner, you can name your zap. So let's go from ClickUp to Salesforce like this. And now we're in, where the fun begins. As a first trigger, we are going to employ uh, ClickUp. You can find it here or you can just go through search engine. Now, once we uh, chose uh, ClickUp, we need to select a trigger. The trigger event that will need to happen to um, like dangle the, the Salesforce that he will need to react to. Now, we want to go, for example, with a new task. We press continue and we have to change, uh, choose an account. We want to go with the ones we created before on uh, ClickUp.com and we want to press continue. Now we are set up in a trigger. You can go custom or uh, already from a workspace. So let's go through workspace like this, like that, and we want to continue. Now you can test your trigger or you don't have to, it's not, it's not mandatory. Now let's go to the second part, uh, the second action. Uh, what will happen after the zap starts? We want to uh, address a Salesforce here, like this. Go with Salesforce. And now what will need to happen uh, we, uh, or as an outcome in the Salesforce? We want to like create a record, update the record, and so on. We want to go to, let's say, update the record. So if there will be trigger of a new task in a ClickUp, it will update the record in, uh, in, uh, in the Salesforce. And you just sign in and you're basically done. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.